Hey guys, Nathan here. So today I'm going to do a video on binding and how to do it safely and might throw in some tips and tricks along the way. I'm very sorry if you can hear something in the background. My neighbour is quite annoying with his music. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. Doof, doof, doof. The number one rule with binding, do not use an ace bandage, I swear to god. What an ace bandage does, if you try and wrap it and you wrap it tightly because like you want to bind and be flat, um, the bandage over time actually constricts more and it's got a very high possibility of bruising or breaking your ribs. So that is very very dangerous. Do not do that at all. That being said, to bind I would recommend using trusted brands. There's Underworks, Flaunt, and GC2B are the ones, the big ones that I know of. Um, Flaunt and GC2B are made for trans people, so that's probably your best bet. I use GC2B binders and they're, they feel almost like a swimsuit material and they're very um, comfortable considering what it's doing to you. And you're okay to use um, a GC2B binder in the water. Flaunt ones you can as well, I'm not really sure about Underworks binders, so if you want to swim in them you've got to be a bit careful. But I'll go into detail on that a bit later. Instead of saving up for like a GC2B binder, you might be tempted to go for those really cheap ones that you see on eBay that have got like a, um, they've got like a Velcro on them or like little clasps and stuff like that. Do not get them. KT tape is fine as long as you know how to use it. A lot of people are very against KT tape binding, but if you do it the right way, it's totally fine. So what you do with it's usually better for people with a smaller chest. Um, it doesn't really work for me very well in terms of flattening me out. Like, I feel like it would be okay um, to walk around, well not necessarily walk around with. If I was with people that I knew very well and felt comfortable enough, I probably could just use that. So what you do with KT tape binding is you have to first of all cover your nipple with a band-aid or else you might rip it off um, and then you use just a small strip or two or three probably two strips and you just go from probably like just past your nipple and then you just drag it you like pull it um, so that it ends just at your armpit um, no further than that, otherwise you're going to constrict your body if you try and like wrap KT tape around, do not do that. Um, don't even like put it all the way like meeting in the back or anything like that. Just that little strip is enough. If it doesn't work for you to using KT tape doing it that way, then go with binding because you don't want to be breaking any bones or anything. KT tape binding can affect your skin elasticity, that's the only thing that that can really do a lot of damage to. Binding is more of a, um, it constricts your breathing a lot, so depending on what you want and your chest size really can make a difference when deciding what method you want to use. When it comes to binding with a binder, um, to avoid having like the move action, all you have to do is like move your stuff to a spot that um, works for you. Generally you want to like put them so that they're like just straight on and like not move to like the side or down because that could wreck your skin and make the skin elasticity really bad and like yeah that can also be a bit dangerous. I only bind for eight hours that's the recommended time I think eight hours. Um, I would say don't exceed like 10 hours um, and if you're binding for that and if you're binding for that long have regular breaks so even if it's just like 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes that's totally fine um, anything is better than nothing I know for some of you that your dysphoria might be really bad but one thing you definitely don't want to do is sleep in a binder um, when you sleep your breathing is different and um, you need to have a break from wearing your binder so definitely don't wear it when you sleep. Don't buy a smaller size 
This could also obviously cause a lot of problems. Getting a smaller size doesn't mean you're gonna get flatter and cis guys have like a slight bump there anyway. If you can't afford a binder there are some DIY methods that I've seen. I'm not sure where, just give it a quick search and I'm sure you'd find it. But before trying to make a DIY one I would first try um, sports bras. And if you're not out, a sports bra is not going to look very suspicious at all. I've heard of a method where you use one sports bra forwards and one backwards. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. But otherwise, just save up for a proper binder. You don't want to put damage to your body, especially if you're wanting to have top surgery. Because um, damaging the skin and all of the muscles and that around your chest could impact surgery if that's what you are looking for. If you've still got some action here after binding, um, you could also just layer up and um, wear some thick clothing to try and help hide that. A binder's not going to take care of it completely. If you want to swim in a binder, GC Doobie ones are good to swim in from my own experience. Um, the material is like feels like bathers. But if you are swimming while you're binding, I would recommend using maybe an older binder to swim because when you get wet, it kind of like tightens up even more and it can be harder to take off and stuff like that. So wear a looser binder when you are swimming. Another point with the KT tape binding, um, even though I said like for like a regular binder, you wear it for eight hours max. With KT tape, you can wear it for several days before taking it off. Um, if you try and take it off after the eight hours of wear for a binder, um, it could rip your skin off. It will be really um, stuck down to your skin and it will cause a lot of inner irritation. I've heard of people ripping off their skin trying to take it off. KT tape is meant to stay on for a couple of days. Um, it's not constricting to your breathing. All it's going to affect is your skin elasticity. So if you're a smaller chested person, um, it might be good for you. So depending on the method, there are different things that you have to do. Um, so a binder, eight hours, and then KT tape is a couple of days until it starts to come off and then you slowly peel it off with some baby oil in the shower or coconut oil or, or something like that. I think that's all of the information that I have for you on binding. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video um, and you found it helpful at all. I'll be making more content like this and I've also got my transition updates and other stuff like that so if that interests you, um, subscribe and I will see you later.